the cool thing about, about being out here is getting to see all the different uh, types of, of art, different types of artists, and like really drawing from other resources besides just our like contained uh, pool of influence at school. It's been really interesting because like the, the large art pieces have been really inspiring and like seeing all the different materials used besides just like the, the silver and, and bronze that we use in the shop. It's been, it's been really inspirational. I really like the, the pieces outside, they're like mobiles and, and like wood combined with metal. It's really interesting because it's like, it's super raw but also really precise. As an artist, you kind of often work in a, a bubble. Um, you're sort of on your own in your studio, you're working on ideas in your own mind. At some point, the, you have to kind of let your art, get put your out, art, art out there and you have to kind of let go of it and let the viewer interact with it and bring what they want to it. Um, so yeah, that's a great experience because if art doesn't get seen, then is it really art? It's good to put your art out there and to, and to try and, I mean, best case scenario, you sell some stuff. Other times you just meet interesting people and have good conversations. Well, these are all antiquated photographic processes from the late 1800s. Um, so there are cyanotypes, Van Dyke browns, and gum bichromate prints. Um, so it's a hand-painted emulsion on watercolor paper that I've hand-touched with watercolor and gold leaf in some places. And then another one of them is a um, silver nitrate emulsion. And the gum bichromate is a um, potassium dichromate. Uh, gum arabic and watercolor pigment so they're these sort of al alchemical old-fashioned processes